hello friends in this video i will talk about stokes adams syndrome its clinical features and management stokes adams syndrome is also known as adams stokes syndrome this syndrome is named after two irish physicians william stokes and robert adams during the 19th century william stokes is also remembered for a common abnormal breathing pattern called sheen stokes breathing you must have heard about it classically stokes adams attack is characterized by a sudden collapse associated with a transient loss of consciousness clinically a third degree heart block is found on the ecg during an attack other ecg abnormalities may be seen in some cases this syndrome tends to occur in the older age groups younger people having congenital heart block may have stokes adams attack it may occur due to familial tendency now the causes of stokes adams attack in congenital heart block precipitated by bradycardia or tachycardia heart block due to myocardial infarction atrioventricular nodal disease valvular heart disease myocardiopathy severe electrolyte imbalance drugs etc rheumatic diseases such as ankylosing spondylitis rheumatoid arthritis and scleroderma infiltrative processes such as amyloidosis sarcoidosis cardiac tumors etc what is the mechanism of stokes adams attack there is a temporary lack of cardiac output caused by a transient arrhythmia such as paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia or atrial fibrillation atrioventricular or sinoatrial block the circulatory insufficiency to the brain causes neuronal hypoxia which is responsible for the loss of consciousness and fainting what are the symptoms and signs of stokes adams attack there is a sudden collapse transient loss of consciousness pallor during the attack followed by flushing on recovery seizures may occur if the attack is prolonged bradycardia and the beat cardiac beat may uh, fall up to 40 beats per minute rapid recovery with a confused state of mind for a while attacks may be repeated many times in one day and are not posture related how to diagnose a case of stokes adams syndrome a complete medical history with special emphasis on heart disease and drug history blood pressure examination in different positions cardiovascular examination by thorough auscultation and ecg hematological and biochemical laboratory analyses differential diagnosis of stokes adam syndrome is very important because it is the same as syncope and the following medical conditions should be ruled out epilepsy vasovagal syncope carotid sinus syncope diabetic neuropathy ectopic pregnancy orthostatic hypotension tachyarrhythmias transient ischemic attacks hypoperfusion due to hypovolemia caused by dehydration and massive hemorrhage endocrinopathy such as pheochromocytoma and hypothyroidism management of stokes adams syndrome is based on management of the underlying causes such as drug toxicity correction of arrhythmias or any other cardiac structural abnormality a cardiac pacemaker may be required in cases of heart block thank you for listening if you like the video make sure to drop a like let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below